with such ones of growing severe obesity crisis among U.S. adults. Obesity is high and holding steady in the U.S., but the proportion of those with severe obesity, especially women, has climbed since a decade ago, according to new government research. The U.S. obesity rate is about 40%, according to a 2021 to 2023 survey of about 6,000 people. Nearly one in ten of those surveyed reported severe obesity. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention found women were nearly twice as likely as men to report severe obesity. The overall obesity rate appeared to tick down versus the 2017 to 2020 survey, but the change wasn't considered statistically significant. The numbers are small enough that there's a mathematical chance they didn't truly decline. That means it's too soon to know whether new treatments for obesity, including blockbuster weight loss drugs such as WAGOV and the jab bound can help ease the epidemic of the chronic disease linked to a host of health problems, according to Dr. S., the CDC public health officer who led the latest study. We simply can't sit down to that detailed level to prescription medication use and compare that to changes in obesity prevalence. E. Hopefully, E. said, hopefully that is something we can see in the future. Most telling, though, the results that show that the overall obesity rate in the U.S. has not changed significantly in a decade, even as the rate of severe obesity climbed from nearly 8% in the 2013 to 2014 survey to nearly 10% in the most recent one. Before that, obesity had increased rapidly in the U.S. since the 1990s, federal surveys showed. Measures of obesity and severe obesity are determined according to body mass at the index, a calculation based on height and weight. People with a BMI, BMI of 30 are considered to have obesity. Those with a BMI of 40 or higher have severe obesity. BMI is regarded as a flawed tool but remains widely used by doctors to screen for obesity.